a migrant camp in Tijuana, Mexico. Some here are asylum seekers whose cases did not make it to court under the Trump administration's Migrant Protection Protocols, or MPP. A recent rollback of this policy by U.S. President Joe Biden has allowed some asylum seekers to enter the U.S., but only those with active MPP cases. Dilma Gonzalez, an asylum seeker from Honduras who has been waiting in Mexico for the last two years, says she's hopeful of the changing policy. The last lawyer told me a judge had closed my case and that I had to open a new one. But then I spoke with a different lawyer who told me my case was not closed and that I still have a chance to enter the United States. The Migrant Protection Protocols, also known as the Remain in Mexico program, forced an estimated 70,000 people to wait for immigration hearings in cities on the Mexican side of the border. Wilmer Avila, also from Honduras, says he's been the victim of violence and even kidnapping since arriving in Tijuana two years ago. But a reopening of his asylum case means he might soon have an opportunity to cross the border legally. I have renewed hope because my lawyers said, have patience, Wilma. They are reopening MPP cases. I had almost given up, but thank God cases are being reopened. If Wilmer's asylum case is accepted, he could soon join the more than 11,000 people with active MPP cases who have been allowed to enter the U.S. since February. But there are many others who are still waiting for guidance on what to do next. Human rights groups estimate there to be around 3,000 people living at this migrant camp. Now, the ongoing COVID-19 health emergency means the border remains closed, disrupting the traditional U.S. asylum process. Now, this means that for thousands of migrants and asylum seekers have no choice but to wait here on this side of the border. With more people arriving every day, migrants' rights advocates warn that conditions at the camp are no longer sustainable. The camp is in a terrible situation. Organized crime has infiltrated it. There's disease, there are risks, people have suffered violence there, and I believe it's a ticking time bomb. Despite the phasing out of Trump-era policies like MPP, the Biden administration has yet to normalize the U.S. asylum process. Experts say that until the system becomes more streamlined, the crisis on this side of the border will only continue to worsen. Manuel Rapalo, Al Jazeera, Tijuana, Mexico.